and with all the two packs that uh, that uh, NECA has been doing, well, not all of them, but they've they've been doing. They did Prometheus. They did uh, they did Rocky. I mean, with the two pack figures they've been doing, I mean, they could take the the non battle damaged Robocop, the one that I never got a chance to get a hold of, the non battle damaged one, and then that T eight hundred endoskeleton from the Terminator series. You know what I'm talking about? That T eight hundred, the mo- non battle damaged Robocop. Put them in a two-pack, and you could totally do the Dark Horse Comics Robocop versus Terminator two-pack. Anybody remember that comic? They could do it. That would be sweet. Friends and Revolutionaries, here to get a look at something that I've been sitting on my shelf for a while. Well, not literally sitting, it'd be much more be much more crushed if it was. <laughs> Just something I've had on my shelf for a while. I think I'll go ahead and take a look at the NECA 25th anniversary. 25th anniversary as of last year, actually. Uh, Robocop. The battle damaged Robocop. This is one I had sitting on my shelf. This one and one other. There were four in the series. This one and the other one I've had sitting on my shelf for a while because I knew that there was the RoboCop reboot that would be coming out. And I figured if NECA had the rights to the original, chances are they were going to have rights to the uh, to the new movie as well. And it would have been great to kind of do a, 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 a then and now, you know, kind of old and new. As, uh, as everyone knows, the new RoboCop movie hasn't come out yet. And if NECA has the rights to it, they're waiting. They're waiting until it does. So uh, so rather than just keep shuffling them around on my shelf, I figured, you know what? Let's go ahead and get a look at him. I've wanted to pop him open for a while. So here's a chance to go ahead and take a look at it. This is actually, from what I've seen, it actually looks like a very cool figure. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, if it's the my Toys R Us. I don't know if it's NECA. I don't know who is responsible but uh, the four figures that were at, that were released that I know of is this Battle Damage version, which sold out real quick at my store. The uh, the Kenner kind of the, the the homage to the Kenner, the glow in the dark RoboCop, and then of course the non Battle Damaged and the one with the spring loaded leg. My Toys R Us never got those last two. Never had the uh, spring loaded leg and never had the un un Battle Damaged uh, version. And I looked. I was going weekly looking, and they never got it in. So whether that was NECA or whether that was my Toys R Us, I'm not sure, but I didn't get those two. At some point, I'll probably order them, but until then, yeah. This one actually, from what I can tell, is pretty good. Uh, Very classic kind of RoboCop uh, 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 packaging. Well, obviously, it's all about uh, about his armor. You can kind of see there's his neckline right behind where it says RoboCop. Comes down to his chest, or at least the uh, the panels on his chest, the chest plates. Got the R2-D2 dome with the slash across the eye. That's cool. So it's got the whole RoboCop feel to it. Here it's got the uh, the RoboCop, uh, the back of it, his back. Of course, this is the front. Here's the back. The OCP logo. 25th anniversary. Part man, part machine, all a cop. The future of law enforcement. And that is OCP Police 001. You know, <laughs> I recently went back to, uh, to watch RoboCop, both 1 and 2, because I've got them both on uh, together. And, um, and I couldn't help noticing when I was watching RoboCop 2, did anybody, did anybody else, just throwing it out there, when, when, you're watch, when you watch, if you watched Iron Man 2 or RoboCop 2, if you haven't watched either one in a while and you go back and you watch one of them, I couldn't help getting the feeling when I was watching it uh, that, that there might have been a little bit of a tip of the hat from, from, from the Iron Man movies to RoboCop. Because it was part two, 
both heroes have like a mechanical suit, like a robot suit, uh, and both of the second movies have a scene where these prototypes of the original are made that just completely fail. <laughs> and I just, I just can't help wondering if anyone else picked up on that and, or, and whether or not that was actually an intentional kind of nod from Iron Man to RoboCop. I, I don't think, it, I don't know. It's very coincidental. So I want to think that maybe it was. I can't be sure. But if you hadn't noticed it, go back because it's there. It is there. And if you're thinking about it, again, it, it's just such a coincidence you can't help picking up on it. But, um, yeah, that's enough on the, uh, on the packaging. Just standard RoboCop stuff. Let's go ahead and pop the package open, get the figure out, take a look, and have some fun. Be right back. All right, we've got RoboCop, the battle damage RoboCop out of his pack. And, man, <laughs> I'm sorry I waited as long as I did to get this guy open. And I totally now want to get the other two RoboCops. Because this one actually is really great. This is really good. There are, I can see where some people have some complaints on him. But I think this is actually a really great figure. A really great RoboCop figure. I mean, taking a look, first off, I mean, the sculpt. Obviously, the sculpt is going to be fantastic. I mean, it's got all the right panels, all the great uh, 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 um, ports, slots, plugs, you know, all the stuff that uh, the RoboCop should have. And then, of course, the dents, the gashes, the burns, you know, the crushed metal. You know, all the damage that RoboCop uh, 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 had, the bullet holes on his leg, that's cool. I mean, it's, it, and the more I look at it, the more you can see the places where, you know, they went ahead and put damage in. And the scorch marks across the entire uh, paint. It just looks great. It looks fantastic. It looks so good. And you can tell, you can tell that, uh, that they started with their regular, pristine, regular RoboCop figure. And they just went to town messing him up. Man, that looks great. The mask, the head, looks really good. I mean, it almost looks like the visor would come off. It almost like the visor would come off. It's, it's, one, of the, it's one of the few complaints that I have about the figure is that there's just not enough to it. There's not enough that you get with this. You know, it gives you so much, and I just want more. <laughs> Taking a look, I, I, I so really want to get the non-battle damage version because I love the brushed steel that they used with the original RoboCop. You know, it's just not just a, not just a shiny kind of aluminum chrome, but it has kind of that blue, you know, brushed steel kind of look. I always liked that in the character and the design of the costume. And, of course, NECA did that great. You know, it's got the silver coat. It's got the silver uh, uh, undercoat. But you can definitely feel there's kind of this metallic blue vibe going somewhere. I'm not sure where it's coming from, but I can you can totally see it. It's got that kind of bluish tint to it. Man, this is a great figure. I, just, I, I could just gush over the figure. <laughs> I mean, really. I can't show you enough and really do it justice. It is fantastic. Take a look at the, uh, at the, uh, at the abdomen. You know, supposedly the flexible part of his armor. Again, looks really good. NECA was perfect for this. I can't imagine any other company that would have really delivered like this on RoboCop. Not on this scale, anyway. Of course, they've got the uh, OCP, police number one. There is the, his uh, serial number on his leg. On the side of the helmet. Not on the back, like on the packaging. Not on the back of his, uh, on his, uh, on his back. <laughs> but like any good company, they find a place to put their logo on both sides, actually. Really, really good. Um, for being a NECA figure, uh, this is one of the more recent generations of NECA, meaning that the head does come on a full ball joint. Arms come up and out. Twist. But at the elbow... 
twisted the hand. There is a bit of movement on his upper torso, not much, and there really shouldn't be. I mean, he should be able to turn maybe a little bit more than 45. Oh, actually, there you go. Oh, he's got a twist on his waist. There you go. So there's a little bit in the torso, but wow, look at that. That was hitting so well, I didn't even know it was there. <laughs> oh, that is cool. That is great. Got the twist in the waist. Awesome. Legs come up. Out a little bit, and this is where I think some people have some complaints, in that the uh, in that the legs. I don't know how well you can really you probably can't tell real well, but the legs do come a, a, a little ways away from his waist, and there's a little bit of gap between his torso and the upper leg, just like on the arms. There's a little bit of a gap where the joint is between his uh, his chest and his arm, but that's compared to the overall presentation. To me, it doesn't jump out. It doesn't take away from the figure. On any other kind of figure, it might have. But with RoboCop's very mechanical look, it, it, it's totally forgivable to me. I can totally forgive it. I can understand how some people might not. But, um, but both on the, on the upper leg and then on the upper shoulder here on his leg, on his arm, yeah, that's, that's one complaint some people have had. Not enough to make me dislike the figure in the least. But the leg comes out. Bends at the knee, and this is my favorite part, a bend at the foot with an actual piston. That is cool. I, when I saw him in the packaging, I kind of thought to myself, man, that is going to cause some serious problems. Uh, I've watched some reviews and saw that it was actually, you know, workable, but I still wasn't sure. I was still thinking, man, that could break so easy. And that would really be a bummer because it's a great piece of detail. That's a great piece of detail on, on the back of the foot, on the calf. This is just a truly awesome figure from NECA. And again, I can't imagine anyone else who could deliver on it as well as they do. In the way of accessories, he does come with his gun. It's a peacemaker, if you will. And I don't think it has uh, the OCP on it. No, no paint. No, nice little detail, but no paint, no OCP logo. What you see on his hand, on his glove. Classic RoboCop glove there. It's got the trigger finger out. And I really should have a better backdrop because, again, it just does not give the figure justice. You can't quite see how great he looks when he's holding it. But I could, I would totally gush over this figure. Taking a look at that, at that scar across his eye. Again, you can totally see where they started with a, uh, with, with a, with a clean helmet, and then just went through and riddled it with bullet holes and burn marks. That is so cool. So there he is with his, uh, with his uh, sidearm. Now he also comes with his, uh, with his spear-like uh, 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 computer jack, which <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they intended it to be actually a computer jack originally, or if it actually was a weapon that he used to jack into the computers. But either way, yeah, that's sharp. That is pointy. I mean, this this accessory right here fully earns the uh, 17 and up suggestion that the box has but you can see the right arm pops right out and that pops right on and there you have Robocop either you know <laughs> giving a very uh, 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 a very a very uh, futuristic uh, Root gesture, <laughs> either either that or he's ready to plug in or stab somebody in the face. That was that was cool too. <laughs> That's a great little piece to add in. Not as cool as the spring loaded leg would be. I so want to get that figure, but right now, from what I'm seeing, I'm probably going to keep the uh, 
the non spiked hand with his pistol this will probably be the one that uh, that I keep on display along with hopefully soon the non battle damage version to go right along with him uh, guys I would say if you can find the figure if you can pick him up he's definitely worth it this is an awesome Robocop I'm not too sure how the uh, how the new movie version is going to come out but we'll take a look at that when it gets here. Hope you enjoy watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Join the revolution. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.